After picking up my Xbox Series S over the holiday period, I decided that I needed additional storage because of all the games that I wanted to install via Game Pass. Now I was looking into the cheapest option to get additional storage for my Xbox Series S and I watched a few reviews on YouTube, did my own research and I tried to figure out which drive would have been the best for me. Now there's a few options. You can go with a 2 terabyte USB 3.0 hard drive or you can go with a Seagate expansion card which is proprietary for the Xbox Series S and X or you can go with a USB 3.0 SSD or faster. Now I went with a USB 3.0 hard drive and this hard drive is from Seagate. It's labeled as a photo drive and this is being marketed as a hard drive that should only be used to store photos on your laptop or desktop computers. Now I'm going to have to call Seagate out here because they have been producing some false marketing when it comes on to their products. You might be aware of the Seagate Xbox game drive and there's also one for PlayStation and these are the recommended drives that you should get for your PlayStation or Xbox. However, all of these drives are the same on the inside. There's nothing different. It's just the outer shell. So the case that they use on the outside to brand these hard drives and put different price tags on them is different. But the drive that is inside is just the same. Digital Foundry um, did a video on this back in like 2016, I, I think, or maybe 2015. And they basically said the same thing. They opened up the hard drives, two different hard drives, a game drive and a regular two terabyte hard drive. And it was the same um, Samsung hard drive on the inside. Is there anything actually special about the official Xbox drive beyond the rather swish green covering it's got? Are completely identical. And we're looking at what is pretty much the best 2.5 inch, two terabyte drive available. And that is the ST2000 LM003. Okay, so now we've ascertained that the official Xbox One drive is pretty much completely identical to the existing Seagate drive. So I picked this up on eBay for $41. I got it over the holiday period and it was a good deal. This is a two terabyte drive and I hooked it up to my Xbox Series S and guess what? It works. Now the nice thing about this is that it's white so it matches the color of the Xbox Series S perfectly and I'm very happy about that. So I'm not going to rant too much more. I just want to let you guys know that you can buy any 3.0 hard drive or SSD and attach it to your Xbox Series S or S or even your PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 and it will work just fine. Don't pay attention to these marketings um, that they, they have in there saying oh this is optimized for the Series S or this is optimized for the PlayStation. No, that's just so that they can hike up the price of these hard drives and take more money out of your pocket. Now. As a YouTuber, I just want to make you guys aware of that for all my subscribers and viewers. I want to make you aware of that. So without further ado, let me show you what is included in the package. So as you can see, the labeling on this, it says photo drive, two terabyte portable HDD on this side, not too much. It just says that it's compatible with Windows and Mac. And you can get an image here of the hard drive. And yeah connect to your laptops now this drive I think you should get Milio create um, the software free for like uh, maybe a year or so if you buy this drive so I'm gonna show you what the drive looks like right now that's the hard drive right here this is the USB 3.0 cable that attaches to it and then you plug that in to your Xbox Series S. Now this is my Series S controller right here, just for show. There you go, a regular connector for all hard drives, nothing on the side. And this is a matte white surface, similar to what is on the Xbox Series S, and it works perfectly. I'm very happy about this. So you see it says photo drive, yeah. 
So now I'm going to switch over to the console and I'm going to show you gameplay from this external drive. And I'm just going to test a few Xbox One games and Xbox 360 games running from this hard drive. All right, so now we're over to the TV and I'm going to show you that this hard drive is connected via USB. So let's go to settings and we're going to go over to storage. There we go. As you can see, here is the hard drive. I named it Series S HDD and I have 1.1 terabyte out of 1.8 terabyte free and it works. I've installed a bunch of games on this hard drive so far and let me just show you what exactly I have on this hard drive. View contents and these are the games that are on the hard drive. There's some Series S games on the hard drive but I can't play them from the hard drive but I store them here so that when I want to play them I can just transfer them to the internal storage on the Series S. Now these are the Xbox One games that I have installed and all of these all of these that you're seeing here are playable on the um, on the Series S which is pretty amazing so I can load up a game right now and show you um, I've been enjoying playing Need for Speed Heat so let's load that up and that's running from this portable hard drive right here I don't really want to move it but I just want to put it in the camera so you guys can see it there it is I'm carefully put it back down because I don't want to um, mess with it and then it get disconnected from the console so I'm gonna run a quick quick race of Need for Speed Heat and it works perfectly it works just fine it works just as as good as I would it would um run on the internal storage so I'm very very happy about that all right so it's loading as you can see Xbox one games take a long time to load whether they're on the series s SSD or on a external hard drive it doesn't matter it's going to be the same load times from last generation but the amazing thing is that there's some great games from last generation that we can play so not even going to take too long let me skip this get out of here like not going to do any upgrades i'm uh right, let me drive in the night time oh sorry i clicked the day all right just gonna drive in the daytime I'm a big racing fan by the way guys so I love racing games as you can see this is running from the external hard drive it works just fine and it's not a Xbox game drive or anything like that none of those fancy branding and it works so here we go it works just fine Alright, so let's jump out of this back onto the home screen now. I could play, for example, a Xbox 360 game from this hard drive. Now, I don't have to go this route to play the games on the hard drive. I just want to show you guys that this is what's on the hard drive that I'm going to play. So, let's load up a 360 game real quick. What should I play? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> I want to pick something that I already started but I haven't started any of these 360 games as yet apart from Sonic All-Star Racing so um
And as you can see, Xbox 360 games load from the hard drive, no problem. Awesome, so it's loaded. And I don't want to stretch this video out too long. So one of the cool things about this game, it was recently added to the backwards compatibility list and now it has um, FPS boost. So this game now runs at 60 FPS. Alright, I'm not even going to play for too long. I don't remember how to drift. I don't remember how to drift. Oh, the side is. Okay, I remember. So I gotta hold down the left trigger and right trigger to drift. Keep that slide. Kinda forgot. Not doing so good right now, but <laughs> well, so how it goes. And I failed that event. All right, so that's enough of that, and that's pretty much gonna do it for the review of the Seagate Photo Drive. It does work on your Xbox Series S. It will also work on the Series X and the xbox one so guys if you enjoyed this video please go ahead give the video a like and sub subscribe to my channel for more tech videos i'll catch you in the next one peace